All right. Well, we're here in Rampart already. Um, I know this isn't exactly where we left off. I recall we were actually in uh, in the rest area still, but uh, for some reason my recording got wonky. Actually, I know the reason. Never mind. What am I saying? Not for some reason. The um, whenever I went to go break some boards down with my with my axe thing. Uh, it crashed my whole computer, so, yeah, I had to deal with that, so, but I've updated my graphics drivers, which hopefully that doesn't make anything weird, I don't know, it feels kind of stuttery, but anyways, so yeah, hopefully that fixed it, I don't know if I'm going to try to go through that again, just because it was a pain, where, is it just that one? All right, come here, bucko. Thank you. And this thing is dead, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Anyways, so I think, I think Casey said something about the gymnasium, so I guess I'll go here. Um. Just to forewarn, I do know a little bit about the map right now, just because I've already gone through some of it. So, this door is locked. Um, and then I went into that building. That's where I had to, like, try to chop down some boards. We'll see if I can do anything here, though. I don't see any other entrance, so I probably have to go find a key or something. All right, I have to search the gym. Okay, yeah, search the gym. So yeah, I have to get into the gym first. And there are papers like that are kind of posted about. I have already listened to it and I don't want to listen to it again. It's basically, oh, here we go. It's basically more propaganda from Georgia, which I'm not a fan of, if I'm being honest. All right, we're gonna do this. Just have to not die. There we go. Oh, got an achievement. Chalk up. Sweet. I guess I've done a lot of climbing. Okay. So we're in the gymnasium. And it is dark as hell, and I don't think switches work. Nope. However, I am wondering why that's a rocker switch, and not just a regular toggle. Sorry, I've been... So... <laughs> I've actually not been playing many video games in my spare time. I've been working on my house. Uh, we just bought a house like in December and I've been working on it all the time pretty much. And uh, I've been thinking of all the different renovations that need to happen. And so now I just know random shit about things that I probably shouldn't. Okay, yeah, this, this definitely looks like a bad, a bad situation. Howdy, neighbor. Mind if I sit for a spell? I'm trying to make sure that no one's going to come up here. I think I'm okay, though. Casey, with the goddamn whining. I'm about to put my fist through his teeth. We did what we had to do. Live with it. End the story. How the fuck that bean pole made it through basic is beyond me. Soft as a melted fucking marshmallow. Did All right. Story with Kenny. Rude ass. I respect the guy, but that doesn't mean he gets a pass. The questioning has to stop. We had to protect what was rightfully ours. This bunker is our home. The supplies are our lifeline. If we did not defend it, we'd have all been dead within two weeks. Now we can last months, maybe longer. We can survive this. A brutal decision was made, but we have to fucking stand by it, unified. If Kenny and Casey don't fall in line soon, I'll have no problem marching them out of the bunker door with a gun to the back of their heads. Wow, okay, yeah. That's problematic, especially since you're military. Armory inventory. Oh shit, nice. Alright. 
So I found one of them, Foster. That is a very red glowing desk. There has to be something in here. Can I move this? Nope. There's nothing in here. It's so ominous and glowing. What is this? Photo of Clark Taylor. I don't know who this is, but I'm taking it. I have a feeling that's like a character from like either the comics or the TV show, and I just don't remember. I will say, I think the last or the latest season is finally on Netflix. Which I need to get into that, because I need to actually start, you know, using my Netflix subscription. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a bathroom over here. Oh shoot, I do need to go back to that other building across the way. There's actually uh, some medicine I found in there. I'm not sure if it'll still be there since my game crashed, but you know, wouldn't hurt to check. Can always do with some medicine. That's glue. All right, we're clear. Nothing in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Also, so right now, uh, obviously because I'm running, you know, VR stuff, my computer is heating up pretty good. And it's got the AC going because of it. And man, I'm standing right under the duct. And it feels amazing. I just love that feeling of whenever you get to be right under an uh, air conditioning duct. It's so great. So satisfying. Oh, is that medicine? Oh shit, I think that's medicine. Fuck. Don't make noise. It's medicine. Hell yes. This is where they've all been. Oh, hi. I'm not going to worry about checking these cupboards right now. I'll come back later. Oh, I'm fine. Never mind. I should be good. I thought this was like a way into that room. So I was nervous. God. I don't like how noisy it is whenever it closes like that. Alright, nothing. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a Bible. Never mind. I mean, I guess that'll give me some paper, but that's about it. Trying to keep these doors open, but clearly they are off level. You don't see shit, Bucko. Fuck. Why are there so many razor blades in what looks like a kitchen? Actually, I don't know what this is. Oh, maybe it's like a ticket booth or something. Because, yeah, this is the gymnasium. Oh, you brought a friend. I see. Can you guys get in? I wonder if I should just make a stand out here. Maybe I can use a different gun. Like my 45, hell yeah. Yes. I've got a bunch of rounds for this, so I think I'm gonna do this. Okay. Well, never mind. Where did they go? Do 
Do not tell me you were standing out that fucking door. Oh, you fucker. I know you're out there. I wonder if I can toss something. Hang on. Did that do anything? Aha! Yes! <laughs> Bitch! Where's the other one? I know you're out there somewhere. Alright, I don't think they're gonna actually move. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, come on. Where are you? Friend? Howdy. <laughs> Shit. Gotcha. I'm actually going to close this door so zombies can't come in. There we go. Okay. Gonna take my time to reload. And let's continue. I thought I saw some more, but maybe not. I know that's an item and I need to go talk to that person, but... Or not talk to that person, but, you know... Investigate them. That will do that momentarily. Howdy, I see you in the darkness lurking. Fucker. God, I really wish that this thing had better light. Gotcha. Right, I think we're clear. All these people that are dead, I can't tell if they're like dead dead or if they're going to come alive at a moment's notice. Like this one. He looks totally fine. Or at least, you know, not rotten or anything. Alright, I think we're gonna have to call it good so I can actually get stuff done. Oh, fuck. Okay, they just spawn in anyways, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. Okay, yeah. I think I just need to get get in with this and all that. Words. <clears throat> Excuse me. I haven't had anything to drink this morning. I should probably do that at some point. You know, drink, hydrate, or dihydrate. Is that a zombie that already spawned? What is this? Wasn't about to let those bastards steal all our shit. It's dog eat fucking dog now, and I'm the mama pit bull. Foster and Trin understand what's up. When you go through something like that together, something that ugly but necessary, you develop a bond to the group, no doubt. The other two, fuck them. They don't get it. Casey acting like he's innocent. Bunch of bullshit. And Kenny with his moral high horse routine, not gonna put up with it much longer. I'm watching. They so much as blow a fucking fart in my direction. God. I'll put their asses down. Zero hesitation. Only the ruthless will survive this shit. And see, the only reason that that even becomes true is if you already have that mindset. 
I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, this poor dude. Just got a box over his head. It's rough, buddy. Anyways, yeah, like, if you have that mindset already, then of course that's gonna be the case. Like, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? So, like, if you're ruthless because you expect other people to be, everyone will be ruthless at that point. Alright, I don't see... Kenny. I do hear sloppy footsteps. Hi. Fuck. Thank you. Oh, you? Okay. Alright, I'm not sure why I missed those shots. Right in front of me. Alright, well I found two out of four, I guess. I mean, I don't really care about these guys. I'm really only concerned about Kenny. Going back to my knife. Oh, hang on. Can I pick this up? No! It's just an oversized box of things and junk. Oh, man. I want it. What if there's good shit? Alright, I'm gonna explore this area, I guess. Oh, it's locked? Nope, there we go. This is an exit. Nope. I hear things behind that door. I don't like it. Alright. Where the hell is Kenny? Let me see if my map will tell me anything. Search the gym for Kenneth. Okay. Alright. Not very helpful. Oh shit. Okay. Fuck. Oh shit! I didn't realize they could fucking do that! Jesus! Holy crap! What the fuck? Is it? What time is it? Holy shit! I didn't realize they could fucking break down doors like that! Oh god, that scared the fuck out of me. Anyways... Like, I mean, I, I knew he was coming, but... Just the breaking of the door is not what I was expecting. Oh shit. I gotta be real careful about this. Wait, they're not over here. Where the fuck? Where is Kenny? Oh, I can climb up here. Sweet, okay. Well, this is a useful getaway, I guess. I... I didn't see him down here, so I, and I think they're all supposed to have, like, some type of thing around them. So I guess I'll just drop down here. I may need to come back later. Howdy. Thank you. Okay. Anything here? No? Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I may need to just bounce and come back later. Ah, here's another person. Is this Kenny? I'm a good person. Oh, that's I Trent. I, I saved my cousin Billy that one time from blowing off his fingers. All the other kids dared him to hold that M80 and light it. And I said no, Billy, even though I really wanted to see what would happen. What happened at the bunker, Jess says we did the right thing. Foster says it too, so that means we did the right thing. I didn't do anything wrong. Us or them, and we chose us. I'd do it again, probably. So that means it was right, right? When you can look back on something and know that you would do it the same way all over again? That's 
deja vu, I think. Something happens and you say, you know, that's the way I do it a second time. Deja vu. That's how I know I did the right thing. Okay. Well, I've only found those three. And the zombies are getting really fucking aggressive and there's a lot of them. So I think I'm going to bounce for the time being. Bro, you are really, really howdy. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that mask would protect you like that. Exactly. See? Masks protect people. That's why you gotta wear them. It'll stop people from, you know, knifing you in the fucking face. I really don't have anything else here. Yeah, let me take a... No, I don't want to take that. I'm gonna have to come back here. Oh, there were bloody footprints? Well, hell. I, I'm not gonna risk it. Just because I've already got some stuff. Or I've got some meds anyways. I want to save my progress and then I'll come back. Besides, I think I need to like eat some stuff to get my stamina. After all that climbing. Anyways. Okay. Well, cool beans. And then this will also give me a good time to kind of let the death squad pass from the shallows. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Perfect. Wonderful. I guess I'll keep this turn to 47 for the time being. Reclaimed a leech assaulting by water. Oh yeah, these are collectibles I've learned. And I'm not sure why that they're collectibles. I mean, it's fine, but like... Lord knows I am not doing all that. That is just too much work. Anyways, we'll we'll sleep, save our pro. Whoa, okay. We'll sleep, save our progress, um, and then we'll head back to the gymnasium. We'll follow those bloody footprints, and then we'll also <sighs> explore some of the other parts of the area. Bastion. Reclaimed heavy storming, Memorial Lane. Okay. Anyways. I'm gonna do it on this. I'm still good there. I've still got plenty of ammo here. How's the condition? Oh yeah. It's Gucci. Okay. Let's make like a banana and ski daddle. I'm glad that I learned how to shove infected away because man, I don't need those dudes ruining my day. I've had good health for this long. I'd like to keep it a little longer. Okay, back to Rampart. There. Not sure why my, uh... Oh, some weapons can decapitate walkers? Oh, they can... That consumes less... Well, damn. I wish I would, like... I wish they would have the tips follow your head. Like, where you're looking. Because that would make it so much easier to, like, remember that those exist. Alright, so hopefully... The door is the way I left it, and I just have to walk in through the front door. Ah, birds. Always freaking me out. Oh, thank... No, damn it. Wait, can I just open it now, though? That would be nice. Oh, fuck you, game. I really gotta go all the way around for this now? Alright. Well, I don't want you guys to have to deal with watching this all over again, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back here. Oh, hey, he has a shiv. And a gun. Hell yeah. 
I may need to just go ahead and use this for now. Okay. Yeah, having a... Not that. There we go. Oh, I guess it's it's already chambered. Okay. I've got 17 rounds in this thing. So I have to follow these bloody footprints. Oh, hi. There we go. Ooh, I got another achievement. Brains. Yikes, I don't like the idea of having to look at the floor so much. It looks like it's going through there. Shit. Stop making that fucking noise. I don't like it. Come here, please. I prefer the light. Ah, oh, you too. There we go. All right. All right, this blood, I guess, does it end here? Where the hell does it end? Oh, okay, so he slips through here. Ah, shit. Ah, God. Ah, God. Fuck that. Why did that take so many bullets? Okay. Shit, my fucking night shift is already almost dead. Okay. So, bloody footprints went through here. I see it now. Give me this. All right, it went through here. Oh, fuck me. Okay. All right, come on. Oh, God! Why do you do that? That was so unnecessary. You could have just used the open door. Oh, fuck me. Fuck. Shit, we gotta get out of here. Okay. Where? I'm just trying to keep my back to to the wall. Thank you. Okay. Oh, God, that was stressful. All right, it looks like it went through here, though. So I guess we'll just keep going. And I know I, draw, I threw my fucking gun, but honestly, that thing was a piece of shit. Can't do anything. Okay. Am I sure about this? Okay, yeah, here we go. Blood. No, this is not the building that I had entered. This was a totally different one. Where's the... Does the blood keep going? No? Okay, so it... Is 
does it go into the principal's office? No? Alright, now I'm lost. That's a very polygonal thing. Words. Sorry, I'm still stressed from that encounter. Where the hell is this blood lead? Oh, is it here? How do I get in here? I hope I'm not wasting my time. Oh, no, here we go. This is not the dude I'm looking for. Okay. Well, I think I must have gotten off track somewhere. Yeah, because these are just dudes. Yeah, I still just need to follow the footprints. Let me go back. Maybe I can recollect myself. I don't see anything in here. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, I see you. Ah. Okay. Oh, fuck you. Ah. Okay, let's let's retrace our steps. I remember it went out the door. So we're going to go out there. I guess all this blood must have just been from people trying to do some medical service or something and they were trying to drag people inside or whatnot. God, why are there so many? What's that giant glowing thing up there? Alright. Fuck, why are there so many? Okay, they led over here. Yeah, I really just ran away as soon as I could. Fucking give me you, piece of shit. I'm gonna dispose of you. Alright, so it still leads over there. I guess it went to the wrong part of the building or something. Surprise. Alright, it seems like it's just this one. You never know sometimes. You know, playing zombie games just re ma makes me realize that I guarantee there actually would be dumbasses that would go out and try to get infected. Or hell, even just like go to fucking like nightclubs and shit when this is happening. Okay. You? From all the way over there? Okay. Billy down the block? Is that you? Okay, there you go. Billy down the block. He was a good kid. Alright. Scared the shit out of me. Alright, so the boot prints went this way. Ah, there he is. What's up, my guy? How do I talk to you? You good, homie? Oh, didn't think I'd ever see another human being again. Is your name Kenneth? I yeah. How do you know my name? I know about the bunker. Been talking with someone inside. He mentioned you. 
Said you were out here trying to fix things. Casey's alive, huh? <laughs> That's good to hear. I didn't give him much chance, honestly. Thought he'd have blown his brains out by now, or shriveled away to nothing. Wow, that's rude. Guess I underestimated him. If you make it back to him, tell him these few things for me. Okay. Tell him he's a good guy. The guilt, it's not his. Tell him to let it all go. What happened at the bunker? He needs to wipe his brain clean. Tell him Kenneth said things right. Killed Trent, Jess, and then Foster. Oh. Okay. okay. You need to write it down or something? No, I can remember that. I'll remember everything. Don't worry. But I am curious. What happened at the bunker? Fuck it. I've got nothing to hide. We killed dozens of innocent people. Civilians trying to, to get into the bunker. When all the shit with the dead walking started to go down. We had orders to keep everyone out of the bunker. I, I don't know why. It, it didn't make any sense. But when it got too tense, we, we freaked. We mowed them down. Vietnam-style shit. Casey just stood there. Like a ghost. Well, yeah, I fucking would too, the fuck? Foster started screaming at him to open fire with the rest of us. Later, I asked Casey if, if he fired. He, he said that he pulled the trigger because he, he was scared that, that, it, that if he didn't, we, we'd all turn on him, add his body to the pile. He said he aimed his gun up in the rafters of the church. I believed him. He begged me not to tell the others. He didn't trust them. But he trusted me. We were friends. Listen, my brain is, it's, it's, it's getting foggy. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing shit. I, I, I don't know how many words I got left. End me. Please. All right. I've heard enough, Kenneth. Shit. I'll tell Casey we spoke. Tell him everything you wanted him to know. That's... Mighty nice of you, Uncle Tommy. Before you go to the bowling alley, blow my fucking brains out, yeah? That's the only way to remain human all the way to the end, right? Yep. Goodbye, Kenneth. Okay. All right. I don't know, I may have done it anyways, but he asked nicely, so you know, it is what it is. I guess I don't need this anymore. I'm just gonna run and gun my way back to the back to the boat. Okay. There we go. So yeah, I guess that's what happened. Well, that's fucked up. I feel bad for Casey. Yeah, they- I don't know, like, even with orders, you're not really supposed to, you know, fucking shoot people? Innocent people just trying to live? Or trying to get somewhere safe? Like, if anything, the military should have been there, you know, providing, you know, help. I mean, realistically though, America's army and all that, and military force, I highly doubt a... Well, actually, I can't say this now since we're going through a pandemic, but, like, I don't know, I feel like with America's military, like, weaponry and shit, it would be very easy to repel fucking zombies. They're slow as shit. They fucking, like, barely, you. they have to bite in order to actually infect anyone. Is that a fucking juggernaut? What is that? Oh, fuck. We want to... Get up on a car real quick. But yeah, like, I mean... I don't think that the military really should be having trouble dealing with anything like this. 
maybe that's just me. And maybe like by the time it's spread, it's too far gone. Cause like, you know, they'd probably be testing it or some shit, or they would be the ones creating the virus or whatever the case may be. I'm just gonna move past this guy. Fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Should not have sprinted. <laughs> you can't get up here, bitch. <laughs> Why are there so many of these, like, armored dudes over here, though? For real. Fuck. But yeah, I don't know. Just my two cents. It doesn't really make much sense for, like, the military to be overrun by zombies. Especially ones as slow as walkers. Let's go home. You see a note, read it. No, I won't do that, actually. Because sometimes it's just propaganda from Georgia. I don't care for that. Ah, oh, goodness, we made it back. Good lord, that was two trips I don't care to make again. I will say it is a good thing that I came back and took care of the footprints later, because that would have taken a long time, and it would have been very difficult with all the zombies roaming around. But anyways. Let's go have a chat with Casey about his friend. Or I guess I have to... Yeah, I reach out to him. You there, Casey? I'm back. Hey, tourist. Did you discover anything? Found Kenneth. I found Kenneth. You did? Is he still alive? No. No. He's dead. But he told me some interesting things before it was over. Shit. Rest in peace, Kenny. My friend. What did he tell you? Well, I had a message for you. You wanted me to tell you something. You want to know what he said? Yes, of course. What did he say? The guilt is not... Wow, why the fuck would you even say that? First of all, like, just lying. But also, that's kind of fucking rude since Casey's kind of been, you know... He said you're a good Promising guy. shit and all that. Not to feel guilt about what happened outside the bunker. To let the massacre go. He told me all about it, from his perspective. But I am curious about yours. Well, if he told you what happened, why do you need to hear it from me? I gotta know no, if you killed you innocent know? people. Right. And you've told me my friend is dead, so we can move on. Yeah. I know it must be hard, Casey, to talk about it. But it's okay. Tell me what happened. Yeah, you're right, tourist. It's not easy for me. There was a massacre. Three dozen people, at least. Jesus. Civilians. Right at the reserve entrance. Innocent people that we should have been protecting. I should have done something to stop it, but I didn't. I stood there. A coward. And now I don't sleep. I, I have a nervous twitch in my right hand that gets more pronounced every day, and the guilt is like a ten-ton weight crushing my chest. Are you satisfied now? I mean, those are just facts. Those are just facts, Casey. I already know the facts. What I need to know is your perspective on the whole thing. There's a reason why you can't sleep. You're twitching like a junkie and your chest feels like it's caving in. Okay, quit badgering me, please. I'll talk, just... Give me a second to, to gather my thoughts. It's all... fucking foggy. The whole thing escalated really fast. The first bullet was Foster. I wanted to scream no, but it's like I just left my body. Everything after that moment, it's, it's like a nightmare. Jess and Trent started firing. Jess, she, she was, she was smiling. Gross. Kenneth hesitated. He looked right through me like he expected me to have his back, but I did nothing. So he started firing. After that, all I've been able to retain are weird details. Oh, the sounds. 
a hat, a cross. Man, sometimes when I'm here lying, trying to sleep, I can actually feel my fingers shaking on the trigger of my rifle, even though I haven't touched the thing since the day it happened. Or, oh god, I gotta do all these, okay. What do you hear when the sounds come? The sound of terror. The police. The gunfire. My own shouts. The thump of bodies hitting the floor. This, this cacophony will just swell up inside my head when I least expect it. This chaos. But I can still pick out every single fucking sound. I just can't shake it. The feel of the trigger. Did you pull it? Yeah. I didn't want to, but I did. Basic training kicked in. Follow orders no matter what. But I don't know if I killed anyone. I, I may have. Thing is, I'll, I'll never know. Maybe that's worse than actually knowing for certain that I did. Thought you aimed up at the ceiling. Okay. A cross? Like in a church? What's that all about? Yeah. It's fucking strange, tourist. I see it. Real close up. Everything around it is hazy. Bullets chewing it up. Splintering the wood. It's from my church back home. The one my mom used to drag me to. You know, but that makes no sense. But it's just my mind fucking with me. Guilt digging in deep, I guess. Fearing judgment. Oh, then. And then a hat for some reason. You mentioned a hat. What hat? There was this old man. Shielding his wife. He had on this bright blue fishing hat, and I watched a flurry of bullets rip it right off in this spray of blood and skull. <laughs> And this fucking hat, I swear to God, it's the exact same hat my uncle used to wear. And the bullets drove it into the wall, and, and it, it, it hung there for a second, dripping. And then it flopped onto the floor. The image, I just, I, I can't get it out of my head. I'm worried it'll be there forever. And I keep thinking, was it me? Did I shoot those bullets? I mean, you'll never know. You'll never know for sure, Casey. That's exactly right, tourist. And I can't fucking deal with that. All right. I mean, it's really not your fault, because let's be honest here. If you didn't fire a single shot and the other two found out, they would have probably killed you. And like, it sounds like he at least made some effort to not shoot as much. Again, this is like a, this is a horrifically morally gray area. He, there is a chance he did kill someone, but it, we can't say it's his fault because he didn't even want to fucking do it. Listen to me, Casey, carefully. What happened outside the bunker, it's not your fault. That is clear to me, it was clear to Kenneth. You need to find a way to make it clear to yourself. Yeah, I know. You're right, tourist. But it's... Uh, it's not easy. Gonna take a lot of fucking work. PTSD always is. Hey, maybe or always does. Over, I can hire you to be my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My rates ain't cheap. I charge 300 bucks an hour. Don't think you can afford that on National Guard money. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Rude. Probably not. Look, tourist. This little chat... It's worn me the fuck out. And I've got rewiring to do to keep from getting electrocuted next time I use this radio. Not that it really fucking matters. Doubtful I'm getting out of here alive. Without that key that has everyone riled up, this is all a waste of time. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later, I guess. All right, so I guess at this point now, we're really just uh, yeah, I just have to get the key from May, so I just need to keep doing this stuff, and we're, we're good. Sweet. I think we're getting close to the end of this, actually. Or the game could be misleading me. Entirely. But I guess we'll never know.
Day 17. 